Good morning. Welcome to my inspirational content this morning. We're working on Deuteronomy 17, and today is our 160th, 60th day for this journey. I'm having ice water in my You Got This jar. And let me know what you're having in the comments <clears throat> uh, this morning. And uh, what is something positive that you can say to somebody on today? My, my words of encouragement would be, you got this. Whatever it is that you're trying to do for the Lord, you're trying to do for your family members, <clears throat> trying to do for yourself, I want you to know you got this. And I'm going to add, in the name of Jesus, you got it. Amen. <clears throat> Please grab your Bibles. Please read along with me like I always encourage you all to do. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get right into this chapter. <clears throat> thou shalt not sacrifice unto the Lord thy God any bullock or sheep wherein is blemish or any evil flavoredness. For that is an abomination unto the Lord thy God. If there be found among you within any of the gates which the Lord thy God gives thee, man or woman, that has wrought wickedness in the sight of the Lord thy God, in transgressing his covenant, and has gone and served other gods, and worshipped them, either the sun or moon or any of the hosts of heaven, which I have not commanded. And it be told thee, and thou hast heard of it, and inquired diligently, and behold, it be true, and the thing certain that such abomination is wrought in Israel. That <clears throat> then sh shalt thou bring forth that man or that woman which has committed that wicked thing unto thy gates, even that man or that woman, and shall stone them with stones till they die. At the mouth of two witnesses or three witnesses shall he that is worthy of death be put to death, but at the mouth of one witness he shall not be put to death. The hands of the witnesses shall be first upon him to put him to death, and afterward the hands of all the people, so thou shalt put the evil away from among you. If there arise a matter too hard for thee in judgment between blood and blood, between plea and plea, and between stroke and stroke, being matters of controversy within thy gates, then shalt thou arise and get thee up into the place which the Lord thy God shall choose. And thou shalt come unto the priests, the Levites, and unto the judge that shall be in those days, and inquire, and they shall show thee the sentence of judgment. And thou shalt do according to the sentence of which they of that place which the Lord shall choose shall show thee, and thou shalt observe to do according to all that they inform thee. May God add a blessing to the reading of this chapter. <clears throat> and remember, this is just how they did things back in the times before Jesus' birth. Amen. Before grace abound, uh, the law was the law. And... Um, as strict as the law was, uh, they still trying to show that uh, they don't want the people to be real quick in their presumptions, though. They still want to have enough witnesses and proof before executing death for certain crimes. So, amen. Um, <clears throat> here's a quick summary from Google. One is not to sacrifice or offer anything to God that has a flaw or blemish in it. So they, they go right into that part of the law right away in this chapter. The second thing they brought up was, If anyone hears of, of someone going to other gods, small g-o-d-s, and proven to be true, one witness gathers another witness and stone the guilty one to death. The first witness uh, starts the first stone, throws the first stone. Amen. The third thing that, that's really important in this chapter, if there is a matter between two people that they could not settle between each other, 
then they were to bring it before the priests, the Levites, and must obey the teaching and judgments that the priests gave. The purpose was to teach against acting presumptuously on matters, and thus to teach others they can't act presumptuously in matters of judgment. The fourth uh, thing that's important in this lesson for us, um, this took place in the days of Samuel the prophet and Saul the king. Israel appointing a king over them like the other nations. So as you continue to read uh, Deuteronomy 17, it'll get into that part of the chapter. God says a king must be picked from among their own people. Put no stranger before them. The king cannot multiply his wealth, his wives, or possessions. The king should not return the people to Egypt, but should keep a book of the law with him as the priests and Levites do. His days will be long if he does this. Amen. So these were some very strict laws uh, back in that time. And, um, you know, they had to obey it or else. <laughs> Amen. Um, please like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And um, like I said in the beginning of this video, think of something positive, encouraging that you could tell somebody. Send them a text, give them a quick phone call, or you can even put it in the comments. You know, I'm sure we can go back and we all can go back and read the comments and get some type of encouragement from one to another. Amen. And enjoy the rest of your day today. I love you all. God bless and take care. Bye.